it is not gonna be me. It's okay. not gonna okay. be okay. my institution. Kasi at that time, I can choose because I have what I call now emancipation money. Okay. At May time, term ka, pero baka mablip tayo. Hey guys, Carlo Opley here and I'd like to invite you to unbox success this coming September 24. If you want to learn about alternative investments to open up more opportunities for yourself, be it side hustling, you want to learn about crypto, real estate, and a lot of other things, make sure to join us. It's going to be a one-of-a-kind event. We have panels, we have top speakers, experts, industry icons, and sobrang mura lang ya. May libre ka pa libro. So make sure to check it out. Link down below. I'll see you there. And things change. Okay, di ako na pucirex. The time na yan, uh, we kind of parted ways, and then here I am. I found out that you left that cushy EVP position yes. and went to do something you've never done before. You've Real never estate. done before. You jumped from film life, bread and butter mo. Sana yung kanan lumaki ka sa film life, but you moved to a real estate company. Ayala ay, 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 land. land. Okay, yeah. so tell me. Alam ko na yung story, but for our, for our viewers, no? <laughs> for me, it was all set, as you said. No? Mm. Uh, AIG, the direction Dami was mo ng there. Plano nun. <laughs> but, they were all anchored on one man. Hank Greenberg. Okay. In AIG. Alam mo, may nangyari sa mother company, di ba? Uh, they booted out Mr. Greenberg, the idol of my idols. Talagang mm-hmm. sobrang, ano yan. Uh, he's the big guy. He's the, the leader. Tapos, Alam mo, nangyari dyan, di ba? Tinanggal siya, tapos they changed the Nagkaroon leadership. Nagkaroon ng organizational, organizational change. And then, okay. from being report, from reporting directly to New York, all of a sudden, we're now under Hong Kong. Mm, at mm. tapos, nag yung culture. Okay, nag okay. yung leadership style. And, you know, I, I felt it. It is not gonna be me. It's okay, not gonna okay, be okay. my institution. Mm-hmm. Tapos, tamang-tama naman, at that time, Ayala Land approached me. Kasi si Ayala Land at that time needed a genuine marketing person. Mm, si Ayala Land is a very strong company. It's a great brand. People all know that. But it's now expanding its foothold on different markets. It's always known for a luxury brand, you know, high-end position or positioning. But it's now getting into lower markets, middle markets, and even the socialized housing market. So your experience in film life that, you know, all segments yeah. became in handy. Exactly. But moving there is, again, a totally new territory. It's a new leap. I... So imagine we, our surprise when we found out <laughs> that our boss, our mentor, our idol, nasa Ayala land. So parang, ano nangyari? <laughs> Ang akin kasi doon, parang, there was this part of my hat that's really marketing it. When, when I was in Philam, it was really a combination of sales, marketing, pero largely a financial services company. Okay. Because that's my, that's my core. It's yeah. finance, right? Whether it's personal finance, corporate finance, or investments, that's core for mm-hmm. me. Parang I felt, you know, at hey, cool this lang. age, oh, <laughs> parang hindi ko pa talaga na to tweak at nagagamit talaga yung marketing lang. Mm-hmm. So, it's a very different product, a different industry, and this shift would probably complete my exposure. Na ito talaga actual product. Kasi tayo financial product, di ba? Mm. So, I felt may nangyayaring gulo sa kumpanya, ayokong maging part of the politics, ayokong maging... Pa- Kasi nagiging ano rin eh, nagiging toxic. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it became toxic. So, lipat ako sa Ayala Land. Guys, so mana sa corporate, hindi mo naman kailangan laruin yung corporate game. Eh. Yeah. That's something that, ano, the politics... Mm. You can't stand above that. Yeah. There's always options. So you move to Ayala Land. Again, part of your journey, nag-uusap pa din tayo. And guys, when he moved to Ayala Land, it's like a different person that I was talking to. <laughs> so what, what, what would make that? Tsaka, grabe rin, di ba? I mean, un- normal people, hindi bibitawan yung security. EVP yeah. ka na eh. Next CEO ka na. Okay, yes, may mga corporate politics na nangyayari, but it's still a secure job. They will not take you out anytime. But yeah. you move to a new territory, new organization, everything new, and virtually learn to learning everything in in, in instant. Why? Oh, pero ito very important, Randel. Ah, ibalik natin dun sa management of finances. Mm, mm. Because at that time, I can already take a risk mm, because okay. of my 
discipline and okay. accountability for my financial muscle. At that time, pwede na akong kumuha ng trabaho, pwede na akong kumuha ng bagong frontier. At mabubuhay kayo. Sigurado. Hindi at risk yung pamilya, hindi at risk yung mga bata. Mm-hmm. Kasi at that time, I can choose because I have what I call now emancipation money. Okay. At May bang time, term ka pero baka mablip tayo. <laughs> <laughs> so, dati ang tawag ko doon FU money. <laughs> diba? So, okay. Hindi mablip yan. Okay. Ngayon, ano, eh, siyempre close na ako kay Brother Bo ngayon. <laughs> emancipation money. When you have emancipation money, you can now do what you want to do. Yeah, okay. You work because okay. you want to work, not because you have yeah. to work. So, guys, mga nanonood ha, hindi mo kailangan maging corporate slave. Yan yung ano, yes. may emancipation. So, Rex prepared for it. Akala nila, ganun-ganun lang. No? But mm-hmm. see, you were always one, two steps ahead. Eh. Yes. Umaga, he's a chess player. One or two steps ahead. So, you had, you yeah. had na capacity to, to start, or start a new, take the risks, okay? But not everybody's like that. I think everybody can put themselves in a position like that. Eh. Mm-hmm. We just don't take the responsibility to do so. Kaya talagang discipline yan. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi, for example, gusto ko itong trabahong to. Hindi ako sigurado, as you said. It's not secure mm-hmm. sa film life. Everybody and knows me. people. Exactly. Ito, totally new world. Pero, if something goes wrong, I can either go back to my financial advisory services. Okay. Andun and, pa rin yan. Oo, okay. nandun pa din. And, I have a base that is secure. Okay. I am not going to be putting my loved ones at risk. Okay. That's very important yeah. to okay. me. Good. And then, and because of that, I can now push value. Ibig sabihin, even in Ayala Land, I can take risks. I can, in fact, going back, you know, my team, uh, and then they're great, great people. No, I, we, we, we assembled this corporate sales and marketing group that launched what we call then as the Ayala Land brand architecture. So, okay. in 2006, doon nyo lang nakita yung mga pangalang Avida, Alveo, Ayala Land Premier. Ngayon, meron pang Amaya at Belavita. What does that tell you? It's now a house of brands mm-hmm. na every strategic business unit now has its own name okay. and is very focused on a particular segment. I had coffee, I had lunch with you at that time. You were ecstatic about that new brand architecture. And you're selling, telling me, parang, ito, may freedom ako to do these things. Yeah. Diba? May budget, pati sa logo. <laughs> Ay, kasi, <laughs> galing akong film, walang budget sa marketing. <laughs> diba? Dito talagang, may pera talaga. So, dito eh. talagang na, na, na-hone mo yung marketing yeah. uh, person mo. And you were doing well. In fact, you were, you were, um, you were behind great sales. You were going from one country over the other. By the way, siya po nagpauso na pupunta si yung mga property developers sa Italy, sa ibang area. Tapos, kakausapin nila yung mga tao doon and, mm-hmm. and bring home a lot of OFW sales. You were part of that and you were doing well. And again, you were already president of some of the companies. They were, they were really pushing you to, to do greater things. And by the way, maganda po ang swell doon sa kumpanya na yon. Mm-hmm. But then again, another, I got another <laughs> message. Rex resigned. And went back to film life. So, <laughs> as president as and CEO, CEO okay. 